good evening and welcome to class night at the University of Scranton. I'm Dr. Jeff Gingrich. I'm the Provost and Chief Academic Officer at this great university. While we're so disappointed that we cannot be with you in person to announce these extraordinary achievements, we know how important it is to celebrate all you've done, even if it is virtually. Thank you for joining us. In keeping with our great Jesuit tradition, we begin this celebration with an invocation offered by our president, the Reverend Scott R. Pilars of the Society of Jesus. Good evening and welcome. Tonight we celebrate the achievements of our great students. It is wonderful to mark this moment with you. And I'd like to begin by a prayer of St. Ignatius Loyola for generosity. Dear Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wounds. To toil and not to seek for rest. To labor and not to ask for any reward, save that of knowing that I do your will. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father Pilaris. Commencement weekend is always a time of celebration for all of our graduates. Class night is specifically to celebrate those extraordinary students who have consistently and continuously gone above and beyond. These are the students who chose to dive headfirst into the University of Scranton experience, immersing themselves into all we had to offer. These are the students who chose to spend those extra hours studying for exams or perfecting final papers. These are the students who said yes to community and global service opportunities. These are the students who courageously served as mentors to others on campus, helping us all to make the university a better place to be. And I know that these are the students who showed the most grit, determination, perseverance, and leadership during this unusual and challenging spring semester. Let me begin by thanking you all for the extra time and energy you put into your achievement and your success. The students we will hear about tonight truly emulate the great tradition of Jesuit education at Scranton. And let me also thank and congratulate the parents, families, and friends of tonight's award recipients. You should also be proud of who your sons and daughters have become, and we feel blessed to have had them as part of our university community. I now to turn to our academic leaders, the deans of our three schools, who will begin bestowing our awards. Dr. Deborah Pellegrino, Dean of the Panuska College of Professional Studies. Dr. Samuel Baldona, Dean of the Kenya School of Management. Dr. Brian Kniff, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah Pellegrino. I am your Dean, and I'm standing in front of my very favorite tree, the dogwood, and I'm asking God to bless each one of you, and that means Amanda, Megan, Nadine, Patrick, Marissa, Jamie, Kevin, Johanna, Courtney, Claire, and Amy, congratulations. Every morning, I want you to give gratitude to God, and I want you to go forth and set the world on fire. You are awesome, and I thank God every day for each of you. Amanda Horner is our Excellence in Community Health awardee. She has a 4.0 GPA, and she led our Alzheimer's Impact Movement. Congratulations, Amanda. Megan, congratulations on the well-deserved Excellence in Counseling and Human Services Award. You've been a shining star through our entire program, and I can't wait to see how bright you shine in your future. Congrats. On behalf of Education Department faculty, I am honored to announce Nadine Brosnan as a recipient of Excellence in Early and Primary Education Award. Nadine is a very caring person, diligent and goal-oriented. We celebrate with Nadine and her family her outstanding accomplishment, and we wish her all the best as she embarks in her career as a teacher. All the best to you, Nadine. Well done. My name is Dr. Reshkina, and on behalf of Education Department faculty, I am pleased to announce Claire McAllister as a recipient of Mary Queen uh, Award of Excellence in Secondary Education. Claire is indeed an outstanding student. She exceeded our expectations in her academic work as well as during student teaching. Very well deserved award, Claire. We are very proud of you. Well done, and we wish you all the best. 
Dr. Paul Cutcherfellow from the Department of Exercise Science and Sport. I'm proud to congratulate Patrick Barney as this year's 2020 uh, Senior Award winner for the Excellence in Exercise Science Award. Patrick is an accomplished student who excels in the classroom. Uh, he is accomplished in research as well as he is dedicated to the scientific inquiry of exercise science. Um, without a doubt, a very inquisitive and excellent student and our unanimous choice. Congratulations, Patrick. Hello, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to announce that the Excellence in Health Administration Award is being given to Marissa Lembo. Uh, I've had Marissa Lembo in class. She's a terrific student and she was uh, is in the accelerated program in the Masters in Health Administration. Congratulations to Marissa. Jamie Lynn Rosati is our Excellence in Health Advocacy awardee. She has been active in peer health education and is nationally certified in student wellness. Congratulations, Jamie. Good evening. I'm Dr. Ken Zula, Associate Professor and Program Director for the Human Resources Undergraduate Program at the University of Scranton. I'm pleased to announce that this year's winner of the Excellence in Human Resources Award is Kevin Lance. Kevin has not only demonstrated academic excellence within the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. I'm pleased to announce that Kevin is also the first 2020 graduate to receive the Associate Professional Human Resources Certificate. Congratulations, Kevin. Well deserved. Go forth and set the world on fire. We'll see you in October. The award for academic excellence in nursing is given to a student who displays outstanding academic performance in their undergraduate studies. The student receiving this award this year has a nursing GPA of 3.93 and an overall GPA of 3.96. It is my honor to present this award to a student that I was fortunate to have on my team during a mission trip to Belize. Congratulations, Johanna Torrey. The Sigma Theta Tau Award is given to a senior nursing student who demonstrates the potential to make a significant contribution to the profession of nursing. This award is demonstrated by academic achievement and the student's potential to be a change agent in the profession. Congratulations, Amy Kaiser. The Faculty in Occupational Therapy want to recognize Courtney Hayashi for being a mentor to younger students and her commitment to helping the underserved. Congratulations, Courtney. Good evening. My name is Sam Baldona, and I have the privilege of working at the University of Scranton as the Dean of the Kenya School of Management. Commencement is a very special event that recognizes a student's accomplishment. Now, it's my pleasure to welcome our school's award winners to class night and on behalf of the faculty, I congratulate you on your accomplishment. Our award winners have been recognized by our outstanding faculty as the very best. Faculty colleagues, thank you for being so engaged with our students. Enjoy commencement. This year's recipient of the Excellence in Accounting Award goes to Abby Murphy. Abby is receiving this award not only because she is graduating with the highest grade point average in her accounting class, but because she truly demonstrates magis in striving for more. On behalf of the whole accounting department, congratulations, Abby. This is so well deserved. Excellence in Business Administration Award goes to Ryan Haley. Ryan is from Casanova, New York, and he's also minoring in leadership. Ryan is a member of the Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Society. He is a president of the College Republicans and is also a ROTC cadet. On behalf of the Operations and Information Management Department, I am pleased to announce that the award for excellence in business analytics goes to Anthony Spoto. Anthony has shown exceptional academic achievements Congratulations, Anthony. On behalf of the Department of Economics and Finance, I would like to congratulate Artem Samiafulin for being awarded the Prize for Excellence in Economics. I asked faculty in my department to say a few remarks about Artem. They told me that Artem has a passion for learning, excellent academic records combined with outstanding character. What's most impressive is that even as an undergraduate student, Artem presented his research at a premier academic conference. He truly deserved this honor for outstanding work in the area of economics. Congratulations again, Artem. 
and our very best wishes to you. On behalf of the Operations and Information Management Department, I am pleased to announce that the Award for Excellence in Electronic Commerce goes to John Beccarillo. John has shown exceptional academic achievements. Congratulations, John. The Excellence in Entrepreneurship Award goes to Cooper Niepmeyer. Cooper is from Council Rock South in Holland, Pennsylvania, and he's a member of the Sigma Nu Tau Entrepreneurship Honor Society. Cooper wants to make a career with Harley Davidson in the sales division. On behalf of the Department of Economics and Finance, I would like to congratulate Patrick Botticini for being awarded the Prize for Excellence in Finance. I asked five in my department to share a few remarks about Patrick. They told me that Patrick has shown leadership and he excelled not only in the classroom but outside class as well. For example, he co-initiated the Wall Street Boot Camp and the student faculty social event. He's also now the co-head of PRISM. Patrick has been very generous with his time in helping KSOM and the Department of Economics and Finance. As evidence, he's participated in the open houses and most recently he helped us with our virtual preview day. He truly deserves this honor for outstanding work in the area of finance. Congratulations again, Patrick, and our very best wishes to you. Hello, I'm Dr. Susan Trussler, and I'm delighted to announce the winner of the Award for Excellence in International Business is Amanda Fatovich. Amanda was selected not just because she has the highest grade point average in the major, but also because of her remarkable leadership and service in representing the program over the past four years. Congratulations, Amanda, and good luck in your new job. The Excellence in Management Award goes to Daniela Salcido. Daniela is from the Bronx, New York, and she has a minor in Spanish. She's a member of the Omega Beta Sigma Honor Society and the Alpha Mu Gamma Honor Society. She also is active in the United Cultures Club and the Business Club. The Excellence in Marketing Award goes to Nathan Koziol. Nathan is from Farmington, Connecticut, and he has a minor in business analytics and business leadership. Nathan is a president of the Mu Kappa Tau Marketing Honor Society and is also a member of the Business Leadership Honors Program and the Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Society. Nathan is active in the Marketing Society, the Business Club, and also in the Campus Ministries. He plans to graduate from our five-year MBA program and is working closely with the Career Development Center. On behalf of the Operations and Information Management Department, I am pleased to announce that the Award for Excellence in Operations Management goes to Brianna Stein. Brianna has shown exceptional academic achievements. Congratulations, Brianna. Hello, I am Professor Amanda Marcy, and on behalf of the Accounting Department here at the University of Scranton, I am honored to present Tarkin McGurin, the Pennsylvania Institute of Certified Public Accountants Award. Having known Tarkin for the past two years, he promotes the ideals of the public accounting profession through his dedication to academic excellence, professional development, and community service. Congratulations, Tarkin. It's my pleasure to announce the winner of this year's Spitzer Award. The Spitzer Award winner is Ms. Emily Turano. The committee selected Emily Turano for being on the Dean's List, her membership in many honor societies, and her list of internships. Emily is graduating with a major in accounting and a minor in business analytics. In the fall, Emily plans to pursue a MBA in accounting at the University of Scranton. Congratulations, Emily. Good evening. My name is Brian Kniv, and as Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, from here in the comfort and safety of my own home, I want to recognize all of our award winners to class night. This year, because of our unusual circumstances, we're gonna have our awards presented by faculty in each of our programs who have selected our award winners. It's one of the very special nights for our college and the university because we get to recognize these, our very best students. So to all of our award winners and all of our faculty who work with them, 
congratulations and enjoy commencement. Thank you. The Excellence in Applied Mathematics Award goes to Megan Scheider for her outstanding coursework and research in applied math. The Excellence in Biochemistry Award, the Excellence in Biomathematics Award, and the American Chemical Society Award goes to Stefan Olson for his outstanding achievements in chemistry and mathematics. And uh, on a personal note, I'd like to thank Stefan for his three years of really hard work in my lab and best of luck uh, in med school. Stefan, keep in touch. Good evening, students, parents, and faculty. It is a pleasure to announce the recipient of the Award for Excellence in Biochemistry, Cell, and Molecular Biology for the graduating class of 2020, Manahil Sami. Manahil is a double major in both biochemistry, cell, and molecular biology, as well as philosophy. She has also completed the Special Jesuit Liberal Arts Program and the Honors Program. Her honors research in the lab of Dr. Mark Seed uh, was entitled Immunological Priming for Bacterial Strain Specific Effects in Ants. She will be graduating magna cum laude with a GPA of 3.83 and in the fall, she will begin her studies at the University of Pittsburgh School of Dental Medicine. Congratulations, Manihel. Great job, and good luck with the future. This year's recipient of the Highland Award for Excellence in Biology is Jack C. Aversa III. We're delighted to be able to recognize Jack, not only for his excellent academic record, but also for his deep service to the biology department his leadership roles across the university community, and his significant research experience. Congratulations, Jack, and best wishes from the biology department. I'm proud to announce that Grace Sieri received the Excellence in Chemistry Award for her outstanding achievements in the classroom as well as laboratory research. Congratulations, Grace. I'm happy to announce that this year's winner of the Excellence in Chemistry Business Award is Victoria Party for her outstanding work in the classroom. Congratulations, Victoria. On behalf of the Department of Communication and Media, I am privileged to present the Professor Bernard J. McGurl Award for Excellence in Communication to Julia M. Dal Cerrito. In addition to her exemplary GPA, Julia embodies everything that we hope for in our department through her work in the community and as a member of our vibrant university. The Excellence in Computer Science Award goes to Michael Delavan. Mike's academic performance has been outstanding. He has also held key leadership positions in our campus professional organization. This year's recipient of the Excellence in Criminal Justice Award is Garrett Boyd. Garrett graduated at the top of his class in criminal justice He's also recognized as a very dedicated student researcher employed within our department's Crime Center, which services local and regional criminal justice and social service agencies. Garrett has a very bright future. He is very deserving of this award. So congratulations, Garrett, and congratulations to all of our other award recipients tonight. Thank you for choosing the University of Scranton Thank you for all you've done for our academic programs, and I wish you nothing but the best. After four years of professional and personal growth, scholastic and leadership accomplishments, and numerous academic honors, Eileen McNulty receives A.J. Coley Award for Excellence in Electrical Engineering. This award is based not only on academic achievements, but also on a commitment to service to University of Scranton, physics and engineering department in the community. Among them, she has been serving as an officer of Student IEEE Professional Branch, an HKN Honor Society, and a role model for the next generation of leaders. We are proud to announce that Katherine Johnson is an ex iqua winner of the Professor Joseph B. Kulather Award for Excellence in English. Happy to offer congratulations to Alexis Ward, who is an ex iqua winner of the Professor Joseph B. Kulather Award for Excellence in English. Congratulations to Erin Carlin for winning the Excellence in Environmental Science Award. 
Well, I'm proud of all of our graduating seniors in the environmental science program. Aaron, your accomplishments have been extraordinary. And for that reason, we have chosen you to win this award. I've really enjoyed getting to know you these past three years and look forward to watching your continued success. Keep up the great work and please keep in touch. Hi, my name is Dr. Jamile Silva. I'm the chair of the World Languages Department. And our department award is defined as one who has excelled in academic performance and in service to our department and the global community. This year, our award goes to Danielle Desai. Danielle embodies a productive life as a global citizen from volunteering in a local orphanage in Bolivia to serving in a residential facility for adults with disabilities in Spain, and also serving as an interpreter at the Lige Clinic here in Scranton. Our department is proud of your achievements, Danielle, and hope you the best in your future. Felicitaciones. Tyler, on behalf of the chemistry department at the University of Scranton, I'd like to congratulate you on winning the award in forensic chemistry. Uh, it's a shame that you had to finish up with this semester online, but I wish you the best of luck in the future. And if there's anything I can do, please let me know. Congratulations. As a multiple time winner of the Frank O'Hara Award, member of Phi Alpha Theta, and an all-around excellent person and student, it's no surprise that Anna Giblin is this year's winner of the Frank C. Brown Award for Excellence in History. Congratulations, Anna, and good luck. The Excellence in Information Technology Award goes to Liam O'Hara. In addition to his academic performance, Liam is also a member of the Magis Honors Program and has been heavily involved both on campus and professionally. Hello, this is Roy Domenico from the History Department and uh, the Director of the International Studies Program. And it is my great honor and pleasure to announce that the recipient of the Excellence in International Studies Award goes this year to our student, Bridget McGuire. Congratulations, Bridget, and good luck. Hi. On behalf of the Mathematics Department, I'm here to announce Charles Kulik as the winner of the Excellence in Mathematics Award. Charles is a fantastic student and we wish him the best of luck. Congratulations, Charles, and the entire class of 2020. And I'm happy to announce this year's Excellence in Neuroscience Award going to Julia A. McKinney for her academic achievement, for her research, and for her service to the neuroscience program and the university at all, overall. Good luck, Julia. After four years of professional and personal growth, scholastic accomplishment, and research leadership, Josh Toth receives Professor Joseph Harper Award for Excellence in Physics. This award is based not only on academic achievements, but also on a commitment to service to University of Scranton, physics and engineering department and the community. Among them, he has been serving as an officer of IEEE HKN Honor Society, and also very important, he has become a role model for the next generation of leaders. This year's recipient of the very first Excellence in Physiology Award is Nicole Antonelli. Nicole completed her physiology degree in only three years and she excelled throughout. We're delighted to claim her as part of the 2019 Extreme Physiology community and to recognize her as a leader among the first cohort of physiology graduates. We know that she will be an excellent pediatric physical therapist. Congratulations, Nicole, and best wishes from all of us. The Professor Timothy H. Scully Political Science Award goes to Nicholas Pepin. Nicholas was selected because of his superior academic performance in political science, during which he earned a 4.0, as well as his commitment to service both at the University of Scranton and his home community. The recipient of the 2020 Excellence in Psychology Award is Emma Long. The psychology faculty selected Emma to receive this honor for her excellence in scholarship and service. Reflected in her sky-high GPA, her contributions to research, and her substantive service. Congratulations and best wishes, Emma. 
the recipient of the Lawrence J. Lennon Award for Excellence in Service and Scholarship in the field of psychology is Michael Diana. We're so grateful to Michael for bringing his infectious enthusiasm to his work as Psychology Club President and Psychi Treasurer and to his honors research. Congratulations, Michael. Hi, I'm Hank Willenbrink and I'm the Program Director of Theater and I'm pleased to announce the Excellence in Theater Award for Riley Charles. Over the past four years, Riley has shown herself to be an exceptional actress, technician, and student. This award shows her dedication to the artistry and craft of theater. Congratulations, Riley. I'm Dr. Christian Crocus, and on behalf of the department, I could not be more proud than to name Jermaine Cookie Mendonca this year's winner of the Excellence in Theology Religious Studies Award. Not only did Cookie achieve a 4.0 as a major GPA, she was also able to study abroad at Louvain, and she's been very active in service projects, as well as the life of the department generally, including keeping us all laughing in the Theology Lounge. So once again, on behalf of the department, congratulations, Cookie. We're going to miss you. Congratulations to Grace Hudak, this year's award recipient for excellence in women's studies. I've seen firsthand the way Grace brings this interdisciplinary work to her other classes, including in an impressive collection of poems she's been working on that offers a feminist critique of horror films. Congratulations, Grace. Right on. The J.J. Quinn S.J. Achievement Award for Demonstration of Excellence in English Studies is a very special award, and as Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, I'm very proud to give this award tonight. First of all, it's named after my teacher and mentor, J.J. Quinn, the legendary English professor at the University of Scranton. This award is given to the pre-medical student who will be attending medical school and is also our most outstanding student in English. This year's award winner is Stefan H. Olson, who has also received awards tonight for excellence in biochemistry, excellence in biomathematics, and the award of the American Chemical Society. Stefan will be attending Harvard Medical School this fall, which just goes to show, once again, that students who are good in English can do anything they like. Congratulations, Stefan, and enjoy medical school. The Scranton Jesuit Community Award for Outstanding Service is given to the graduate who has rendered extraordinary volunteer service to those most in need in the Scranton area and beyond. This year's recipient served in the following ways, as a Spark Summer Service team member and team leader, as a participant and team leader in the FIRST program, as a mentor in the SMART program, as a volunteer for Big Friends, Little Friends, Big Brothers and Sisters of America, and at the Nativity Miguel School. In addition, the recipient participated in the university's domestic outreach program in Houston and was a domestic outreach peer facilitator in Puerto Rico. We are proud to recognize the member of the graduating class who has exemplified the Ignatian ideal of being a person for others. I am personally proud to present the Scranton Jesuit Community Award for Outstanding Service to Sarah M. Brown. Congratulations, Sarah. I'm privileged to present two members of the graduating class with the Lawrence A. Mann Award. This award is named in memory of Dr. Mann, a professor of Latin and resident counselor in Dennis Edward and Linet Halls for many years at the university. The recipient of this award, through their extraordinary involvement in student activities, has become a role model for their fellow students. Tonight, we have the honor of presenting the Lawrence A. Mann Award to two members of the class of 2020, Zoe Haggerty and Brian Martin. Zoe's impact can be felt across campus because she was, among other things, a head RA, a student government senator, a volunteer at the Leahy Clinic, and a mentor to many fellow students. Brian had a similar impact as he served as a tutor, an RA, a retreat leader, and an orientation assistant. Brian and Zoe have made immense contributions to the university community over their four years. Please join me in congratulating them as the 2020 recipients of the Lawrence A. Mann Award. Congratulations. I have the honor to present two members of the class of 2020 with the Student Life Award. 
The Student Life Award is presented annually to a member of the graduating class who has given selflessly of his or her time, gifts, and talents for the betterment of their peers through extraordinary extracurricular activity. Tonight, we're pleased to honor two members of the class of 2020, Denia Thompson and Andrew Patterson. Denia has been involved in many extracurricular organizations throughout her time. Most notably, she served as a vice chair of USPB, a retreat leader, an admissions tour guide, and participated in an ISP trip to Guatemala. Andrew has also left his mark through involvement across campus. He served as a peer health education leader, a representative on the National Jesuit Student Leadership Conference. He played on and later managed the men's soccer team, and he participated on an ISP trip to El Salvador. Both Denia and Andrew have left an indelible mark on our campus community over the past four years. Please join me tonight in congratulating Andrew Patterson and Denia Thompson as the 2020 recipients of the Student Life Award. Congratulations. On behalf of the Alumni Society at the University of Scranton, I am pleased to present the Alumni Loyalty and Service Award to Brianna Tucciaroni. Since her first year at Scranton, Brianna has shown true devotion to bringing alumni and students together. As co-founder and president of the Future Alumni Network, she planned and facilitated several student alumni programs, educating her peers on the strength of the alumni community. Through her internship in the Alumni Communications Department, Brianna also worked to enhance alumni social media content and to provide video and photo support at alumni events. I'm going to miss seeing Brianna represent the student body so gracefully as a speaker at our alumni board meetings and regional events, but I look forward to standing alongside her as a fellow Scranton graduate. It is with great pleasure that I present the University of Scranton Alumni Loyalty and Service Award to Brianna Tucciaroni, Class of 2020. Congratulations, Bri. Hello, everyone. My name is Fahad Ashraf, and I'm privileged to present the 2020 Teacher of the Year Award to Dr. Teresa Conti. Dr. Conti came to Scranton in 2010 as a member of the Department of Nursing. Prior to this, she spent 16 years as a bedside pediatric nurse, with 10 years as a staff nurse on the oncology and bone marrow transplant units at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. She was also employed as a pediatric nurse practitioner in Scranton. Dr. Conti is actively involved with the Association of Pediatric Hematology Oncology Nurses and has developed and presented programs across the U.S. and Canada for nurses that focus on their own self-care and resiliency. She teaches pediatrics to the undergraduate nursing majors and the self-care and resiliency course available to seniors and PCPS. Dr. Conti is a proud Royal RN herself and is a 1994 graduate of the University of Scranton. Congratulations to our 2020 Teacher of the Year, Dr. Conti. Hello, my name is Nicole Schaefer and I am the Senior Editor-in-Chief of the Windhover Yearbook. Every year, the staff has the opportunity to dedicate each yearbook edition to a deserving member of the University of Scranton community. I am so proud to announce that this year's edition is dedicated to Mr. Bob Seok. Bob Seok has served as a member of the staff in the Office of the Registrar and Academic Services at the University for the past five years, holding a position as the Special Initiatives and Enrollment Operations Manager. He is also a past graduate of the Class of 1990. Bob Siak has been such an amazing representative of the Jesuit values of this university. Greeting you with a smile on his face, he will go the extra mile to aid and listen to any person who walks through his office door looking for assistance. He has also been involved behind the scenes at past undergraduate commencements. I've heard how in the process of handing each student their diploma, he makes sure to personally congratulate each graduate to transform what could have been a mundane moment into a truly enthusiastic and celebratory farewell. He perfectly exemplifies what it means to be a person for and with others in one's everyday life. The yearbook staff is extremely thankful for his presence in the university community, and we hope to show our gratitude with the dedication of this year's edition to him. Thank you. This year's O'Hara Award winner goes to Amanda Horner, who is a graduating senior in community health education and she was a double major also in philosophy. She was a member of SJLA, numerous honor societies, 
She led a faculty student research project. She interned in student health services. And I'm so happy to tell you that she's moving on to the University of Albany for a master's degree in public health. Go Royal, go Amanda. The announcement of the O'Hara Award winners during class night is a very special part of our commencement exercises at the University of Scranton. The O'Hara Award is given to the most outstanding student in the Kenya School of Management. This year, we are fortunate and proud to announce that we have three O'Hara Award winners, making this class night very special and memorable. Now it's my pleasure to recognize this year's O'Hara Award winners. Ryan Haley, Tarquin McGuren, and Abby Murphy, congratulations. Ryan Haley is graduating with a major in business administration and a minor in leadership. Tarquin McGuren is graduating with a major in accounting. Abby Murphy is graduating with two majors, one in accounting and the other in philosophy. Abby has also met all the requirements of our very demanding SGLA's honors program. All three of our winners have an A on every single course they have completed at the University of Scranton. Simply put, a perfect four GPA. Congratulations to all of you and a big thank you to the faculty who coached you on your path to success. Every year at class night, our final award is the O'Hara Award for the Outstanding Graduating Senior in the College of Arts and Sciences. This year, for the first time in my 10 years as Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, we have two award winners because we have two graduating seniors with perfect 4.0 grade averages. Both of them have won awards earlier in the night, you will not be surprised, and it is my honor to grant them the O'Hara Award. Our first winner is Anna Maria Gerarda Gilbin. She is a history major with a minor in philosophy and a concentration in legal studies. Earlier this evening, she was recognized by our faculty for the Professor Frank C. Brown Award for Excellence in History. Our other award winner is Charles Kulik, a major in mathematics with a minor in computer science. Earlier this evening, he was recognized by his faculty as the recipient of the Excellence in Mathematics Award. Congratulations, Anna Maria and Charles, for four years of perfect 4.0 grades and the award for the outstanding student in the College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you. Gracious God, we ask your blessing upon these young women and men of the University of Scranton class of 2020, whom we honor tonight for their achievements. We celebrate their capacity for creativity, for critical thinking, for focused effort. We are grateful that they and their families entrusted the University of Scranton's faculty and staff to engage them intellectually, morally, and spiritually. We thank you for their confidence to discover and explore new possibilities and knowledge to discern what is right and good and just. Enable them to draw upon the wisdom and experience of yesterday as they respond to the questions and concerns of tomorrow. May these gifted young men and women use their talents in the service of others in our world and lead lives for your greater honor and glory. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. I now have the pleasure of introducing to you the 27th president of the University of Scranton, the Reverend Scott R. Pilars of the Society of Jesus, who will offer concluding remarks. Tonight, we celebrated well the accomplishments of our graduates. This is a great moment for the university and a great moment for them. I hope it is also a great moment for families, for parents who have stood by these young men and women year after year and encouraged them to pursue their dreams and to revel in their successes. Gratitude is maybe the most important virtue espoused by St. Ignatius, the founder of the Jesuits. Tonight is a night exactly for that, for gratitude. Students, graduates, make sure you take time to thank your parents and your families who have supported you along the way and pointed you 
in the direction that you have so beautifully walked. Again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you.